Hi, my name is Senga Lindsay. I'm a landscape architect in North Vancouver. We're standing here today on my edible green roof and it's actually November and we're still experiencing some fairly mild weather. So lucky us, it's enabled us to grow crops that, uh, such as celery, continuing on growing these kind of crops that normally um, once the frost hits they will be pretty much done. So today I'm going to show you how to harvest celery. Fairly easy. Now in the past, celery was quite difficult to grow. Um, the old cultivars required a lot of maintenance, a lot of uh, blanching, which was basically hilling up the sides of the plant in order to create uh, very soft, succulent stalks. But with the new cultivars like this one called uh, Utah Giant, it's an old heirloom. It's also self-blanching um, uh, celery, so you no longer need to worry about mounding. It's a quick grower. It's uh, as you can see, it's here in a very shady, moist part of our vegetable garden, which is perfect because these are heavy feeders and they like lots of water. So these have been growing happily along all summer long. They do take about 100, 125 days to mature from seed. And my husband likes to use them or any great chef uh, uses uh, celery as a base for their sauces and their soups. It's just part of the culinary repertoire. and. Oftentimes, you don't have to actually harvest celery all at once. You can do one of two things. You can take what you need, cutting out the outer leaves like this. But chances are, because they are such a fibrous uh, plant that does reduce quite quickly, you'll probably want to take the whole head. So like I said, make sure that you harvest your, your celery before the first frost hits. And all you do is simply, in this case, we have a very light green roof soil. We're just going to pull out the plant, like so, shake it up, it's as easy as that, and then we'll just trim the bottom roots off, and there you go, voila. That's all there is to harvesting celery, and if you want to know any more about that or other vegetables on our green roof, please visit my website at www.segadesigns.com. See you next time.